Hello, welcome. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Cancer. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Cancer, I'm doing your reading today with the Mystical Shaman blended with the Good Tarot and one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. So Cancer, on the split there, you got the Sun and the Wild Woman. Really beautiful energies, really big energies actually. Big energies that aren't necessarily apparent in your reading, but I can see how they could be like the momentum that is pushing you forward. It's like you're looking for an outlet perhaps to express, an outlet to express yourself because you seem to be very much searching. You seem to be really searching for something, Cancer. An answer, an adventure, a direction, an outlet. It almost feels like an outlet with these two energies here, right? It's like you've got a lot of pent up energy perhaps and you're looking for a way to express it. So we're beginning your reading here with the seven of water, which talks about options, right? Which talks about surveying, surveying the options at your fingertips, which is really interesting that it's coming out that way. The options at your fingertips, because actually with the Holy Mountain card coming out next to it, it's looking to me like you're feeling like none of the options that may be at your fingertips or that are available to you are practical or doable or within reach. So interesting that it would come through as within your fingertips. But the reason why I say out of your reach is because the Holy Mountain comes through sometimes it's just... Um, wanting to emphasize great distance. There's a figure up here in, in the distant mountaintop. So it's accentuating that all of the options, or at least all of the options that you're able to imagine up seem too far out of your reach, perhaps. So you're just feeling a frustration at none of the options that are available to you are doable or practical or you're clearly not seeing the path forward, right? With the Queen of Water here, there's kind of this, like you're searching, you're searching your own psyche for the answer. That's what this is looking like to me because the Queen of Water is like, all of this stuff is going on within your psychic realm, within meditation, dreamscape. Searching your dream landscape, searching your imagination for the answer and everything that you're coming up with doesn't seem practical or doable to you. It's like, it's a great idea, but how do I actually pull it off? So it's kind of like all of these options, they're, they're not at your fingertips. Like the, the goal, the answer is, okay, what am I trying to say? It's like what, what it is, the outcome of it is apparent. This is what I want. This is what I want to achieve. The path to it is the part that is eluding you. It's completely eluding you. It's with the gatherer and the water card coming next. This is interesting. The water for me is the magnifier, right? The gatherer is you racking your brain, searching your dreamscape for symbolism, message, searching your, your environment for symbolism and message, applying the magnifying glass on top of all of it, searching for the answer or the way forward. This gatherer card is talking to me about that you have been for some time gathering your... It's like everything that, that comes across your radar like I said, everything in your environment, everything that's coming from your inner world, everything that you're you're living in your outer world, it's like you're deeply examining it, searching for some sort of meaning or direction within it. So it's interesting. That's how it's coming through here. With this being the inner world and this being the outer world, just kind of in this process of gathering information. And yet, no matter how closely you're looking at any of it, None of it is really holding within it the answer, the answer that you're seeking with this king of air. This talks about the clarity that you're seeking, but it's eluding you. This is the thing. It's feeling almost like this really, it's, it's almost coming through as 
there is, the answer is there. And it's almost like dodging your gaze. It's very strange. It's almost got this kind of fairy realm trickster energy to it because it's like it's standing right beside you. It's it's right behind you. It's that feeling of you sense a presence and you turn and look, but then there's nothing there. It's like this king of air here. So you, you may be just feeling like your guides are actually eluding you. You can't quite get a grasp. You can't, like this is what is, this is talking about. It's like it's all just out of your reach. Maybe you're kind of starting to get a glimmer of some sort of a vision of something, but every time you try to to magnify it or pull it in, it eludes you. It's like this fairy that keeps just darting off every time you get a sense of it. It's frustrating. He's never come through like this before. This energy usually comes in really like in your face. I'm here, I have a big message, but it's almost like it's playing with you, Cancer. Or that's the feeling that you're getting. You're getting frustrated feeling like the universe is kind of playing a game with you where everywhere you look, it's not there, but you know it's there somewhere. That's what I'm saying here. It's like you've got this, this energy, this momentum. It's like you know it's there. You know the answer is there. Of course, the answer is there. Maybe there is a little bit of like this elemental playfulness. The elementals are playing with you, Cancer. Perhaps it's reminding me a little bit of the stories that Rob's been putting out on his channel with his imp that he's been seeing. It's like this playfulness. It's like this energy is being playful, but you're not receiving it that way. It's like you just want to get on with it. You just want the answer. You don't, you don't want to play hide and seek with the elementals or with your guides or with the universe. Like, just tell me the answer already. It's like, catch me if you can. He's snickering at me. He thinks it's funny. He thinks it's funny. I mean, maybe we're talking about a particular person in your life. There's somebody, it's like you're trying to just get a straight answer out of them, but they can, it's like that energy where they can never be serious. They're always laughing and making a joke out of everything. And you're saying, just, can we just be serious here for a moment? And they go, yeah, sure, let's be serious. But then they just keep cracking jokes. It's really irritating. So... Okay, we've got this five of earth, this Andean cross, and the eight of fire, right? So this is moving from lack of clarity into absolute clarity and movement, moving from a stuck energy into movement, answers, the path opening up. And in between it is the Andean cross. So there is, it's like, it's like it's just on the other side of the wall from you. You're in this energy here, this five of earth, feeling really foggy or cloudy in your clarity. You can't quite grasp it. The Indian cross is blocking the message from coming in. Interesting though, because the Indian cross is actually, well, it's a threshold or a portal point, right? So, and it's like, you know that. This is the thing, ener uh, energy. This is the thing, cancer. It's like you are fully aware that the answer is right there. It's like right outside of your grasp. It's like you're looking through this little peak hole and you can see it out there, but you can't quite find your way into it fully. That makes sense? It's like you're perceiving just a small aspect of it. You know it's there. It's like, I see you out there. I see you. I know you're there. I know you're there. Just show yourself or come in here where I am. Why are we playing this game? is your energy. Why are we playing this game? Can't we just get on with it? And this Andean cross is almost feeling like a trick as well because it's like, it's supposed to be a portal and you can, you can go through the center through this portal, but it, it looks like it's, it doesn't go anywhere. It's like a dead end, right? It's like there, it's just the rock wall behind that. It's not actually going anywhere. So you're just feeling really frustrated with this. Like you're being, you're being looped around in a circle. Nothing is getting traction. Nothing is going anywhere. It's like the promise of movement is being blocked by this king of air. 
who is this and what is this energy exactly i mean is this just you wrestling with your own thoughts about something perhaps it kind of just feels like it's like you know there's something right there the answer the answer is right there it's like tip of the tongue it's like it's right there but you can't quite pull it in anytime you do get a hold of something you're like ah this is it this is the answer and you magnify it it's like you spend you spend all of this time like examining it right and dissecting it and pulling out all of the meaning from it and it's like you're certain that you're just getting a handle on it or something is finally going somewhere and then it like falls apart or it disappears it's like it evaporates like that 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 phenomenon of having a dream and you're holding an object in your dream and when you wake up out of the dream it's like you want to still be holding it but you're not it's like it vanishes it disappears out of your grasp interesting i was saying at your fingertips it's at it's like it's at your fingertips but at the same time it's like so far away it's almost this optical illusion this optical illusion that keeps kind of tricking you into thinking something is much closer than it is so cancer you're just clearly incredibly frustrated it's like you want the answer the eight of earth talks about purpose sacred purpose is that what we're looking for here cancer it's like you're looking for your specific path your specific sacred purpose and it shouldn't be this hard it's like if you're asking the question the answer should just be handed to you you know if this is like a guide or this is representing the cosmos the universe if the question is asked asked and it is given why are you not being given the answer is what you're saying cancer it's especially like because you're saying we're talking about my purpose here we're talking about me wanting to be of service or beneficial to the whole why wouldn't that answer come in for me and it's like there's something there's some sort of a energy there that is just it's like it's having fun playing with you i don't know if that's true or that's just the feeling that you have it's like you think you're being played with is that actually the case so I mean, whether or not it's true, that's your experience. Whether or not that's actually what's happening, that's been your experience, right? You're feeling tricked. You're feeling played with. So the tower coming next is the blockage. It's the blockage. This tower card actually today, whoa, it's like really, it's got a big energy in it today. This is a new deck of cards for me, so the... It's more like vibrant. The contrast is more enhanced, I believe, than my original set of good tarot because it's really, it's almost like it's pulsing today. It could just be because it's this new deck that's still really vibrant and, and you see what I'm saying? But it's like the contrast is really accentuated. So this talks about the blockage. It's like the clarity is, is beyond, it's this, it's this. So you can't, you can't go through it. You have to go around it. There is a big blockage that you must circumvent in order, you can't go through. It's interesting because there's that phrase, right? In order to, the way out is through, which is this Andean cross here. The way out is through. And it's like, no, that is not true in this case. The way out in this case is go around. Completely, completely go around the obstacle. It's like the long way around. So, because the completion card coming next, that's why I'm saying that. It's like this completion card is talking to me about, it's like instructions. It's like a map or a compass. This is amazing. It's like suddenly so Indiana Jones or something. It's like cancer. Here's the instructions. This is your obstacle. This is almost like the king of air. The king of air is your obstacle. Maybe there's somebody in your life that is really just kind of screwing around with your energy and they've become this obstacle. So the way to, to gain your clarity is just to, to bypass them, completely overlook them. It's like maybe you were seeking counsel or seeking answers from a specific guide or a specific whatever, whatever this energy represents. It's like 
that's not the answer. Go around this one. Go around this one. It's interesting because I got an email from somebody the other day and this was making me think of. She was asking me, what do I do? I'm, I'm searching for healing. I need to find a healer. Should I go back to this one who I've had a hard time with in the past? It's completely astounding to me. She actually said to me, and I apologize if you're watching this, it's just sometimes we don't see our own stuff as clearly as other people can see it. So this is kind of what's going on here. She, so, so this could be a message for you, Cancer. Listen to how you're describing your challenge, your situation, because you may hear the answer in your question. She actually said to me, should I go back to this healer that I know, even though I had a couple really bad experiences in the past with him? And it's to me, it's like all, all really, really obvious. Why would you go back to the one? It didn't, it didn't work in the past. Why would you go back to them? Because they're a healer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that was about, but so it's coming out for you about that. This isn't the answer. So that could be the, the, like it's at your fingertips, but then it isn't, it's like, it's right there, but then it isn't. It's like, whatever this is, whatever the source Whatever this represents, I'm kind of getting like, could be a YouTube channel you've been watching. It could be books that you've been reading. It be whatever it is that you've been diving into and dissecting and magnifying, searching for the answers. Could be tarot card readings. You could be watching too many tarot card readings and they're just pulling you in every direction and you're not getting to the answer. So this is what we're talking about here. It's almost like the thing that you've been expecting the answer to emerge from is actually the blockage and that's why that's why it's not working it's not it's not a doorway it's just a wall right so skip that completely go around it it's you're right that the answer is there obviously absolutely the answer is there go around this one the answer is right there it's so clear the nine of fire for me this is it's amazing because i was just saying about the the having a dream and finding the answer, but then not being able to pull it with you into your wake state. That's what this card is for me. I completely forgot it was the end of your reading here until I picked it up, but that's what this card symbolizes for me. It's that phenomenon of when you find something in your dream, wanting to bring it back into your everyday life with you. And this is actually succeeding in doing it. So it's like you pulled the answer out from the deep recesses of your psyche, perhaps is how it comes through in that dream energy. Anyway, it's interesting because the completion card is a nine. This is a nine as well. It's amazing to me how this is looking like very clear instructions, directions. It's like the treasure map. This is what you got to do, Cancer. Follow this circle around the backside of this tower card. And there's your answer right there. It's so clear. And it, then it ties back into all of this illumination and fiery wild woman energy this is it this is the answer and it's like when you when you bypass this trickster energy it's almost like once you clear their energy once you get past their energy it's almost like they're they're creating a blockage to your clarity by looking at them or engaging with them they're actually blocking the answer from coming. So when you decide to like cut them out or just, you know, look in a different direction, but this enter this, this message here about going around the obstacle, there's this kind of message here, cancer about that. It's a little bit of a process. It's not like the second you say no to this and turn your gaze over here. That's the answer. There's kind of a little bit of a phase where you're actually like putting, putting some distance between you and their energy. So basically it's just saying it's not instantaneous. Put some time and space between you and this influence, whatever this is, put some time and space between you and this influence. And before you know it, I want to say it's, it's, it's interesting how it's playing with time. It's playing with time and space here. It's like close, but far close but far it's going to take time but it's going to be here faster than you think it's interesting how that's happening so the answer is there you're absolutely right cancer it's like you're just looking in you're looking in the wrong place for it so i'm going to leave it there i'm going to continue to pull cards and see what else we might be able to find out about this if you're interested in that link is in the description and if not i'll see you next time cancer thanks bye